As a husband and a father of four young children, I can only imagine the fear a child must experience when a parent is diagnosed with cancer. It's rare to live in a community that has the resources and the professionals to help a child through such trying times. That's where Kids Can can help. Kids Can is a program developed to provide educational and emotional support to children to help them understand cancer and learn ways to cope with difficult challenges. Kids Can offers a safe, nurturing environment with arts and crafts, music, games, and frank, open group discussions led by experienced counselors, nurses, and social workers. The Rex Cancer Center, with support from the Holt Foundation, is proud to offer Kids Can to our community. At first I felt really alone and isolated and scared. It showed me that I wasn't the only person who is going through cancer with my mom. Uh, that it taught me what cancer was and like how it happens. And we had a lot of fun and we got to tell other kids what happened to us and our family. You get to have like fun while you learn like what your mom's going through and like how to deal with it. We mourned my mother's death, but we still didn't speak of cancer. You know, this is what she had to go through. This is what she done. So we always used to talk and say, you know, if it's anything that, you know, we could give back or do, we felt this is something that everyone could benefit from, whether it be the parents or the kids, and especially the kids, give them something early on in their life where it puts them around other kids and develop skills and they can talk and, and, and talk with other kids and give them a platform um, where they can deal with it. And so we didn't have it growing up. We know if we did, we could have benefited from it. The education part of it is, is, is really, really key. Uh, and that helps now, now that the kid knows, now that helps with them emotionally, helps with them physically. Uh, it gives them some lift, you know, it gives them some positive vibe uh, now that they know exactly what's going on. My name's Jim. Um, I'm a cancer survivor. Cancer definitely affects an entire family. In some sense, it's interesting. I, uh, all I had to do was worry about the best possible outcome. And I think in many ways it's harder on the people around. It's, um, is tough for them. I felt at times we had all of these hands from all the different parts of our lives helping support us and get us through. Um, Kids Can was an invaluable part of that support. It was very helpful for them to see that they're not the only kids dealing with a parent with cancer. Um, it's a scary thing. They were not really sure about what it meant. I have learned so much from Kids Can and from reading books here at the hospital and um, it's helped me, it's helped me teach other people, it's made a world of difference for me by knowing scientifically what's happening, which is what Kids Can does. It really helps. So when I yell go, I want a player to come off of here. I want a player in this line. To... One of the lessons I had repeated many times over the years with my daughters is that they may not always be able to choose what happens to them in life, but they can choose how they respond to it. That was good, good. You know, the Kids Can program is an embodiment of the same thing. It teaches them to learn how to become survivors themselves. On. One, two, three. three. We learned about how cancer is something that you can't get from being near someone and so how important it is that we're near the people who have cancer in our lives and we support them. My name's Kevin McAteer. A year ago, my wife Pamela was diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, I remember um, the first time that Pamela was um, 
told that she had cancer. Uh, the first thing she cried out was, um, that, that can't be, I'm a mom. I have three little babies. But the doctor immediately, uh, in that first conversation, said, I've, I think I've got a great group that would help you and your, and your family get through this. Raise your hand if your parent or grandparent, because of their cancer, was in the hospital. It helped me by kind of explaining <clears throat> what cancer was, and it helped a lot because um, I didn't really know what cancer was, and I like saw weird things um, that how my mom got cancer. What would it have been like without kids can? And uh, the stress and the pressure would have been unbearable. We can just, in a very healthy way, um, wrestle with our pain of our loss, but not have to wrestle with the stress and the unbearable pressure of just trying to be a father of three very confused children, and at times probably me being a very confused parent. And that's allowed me, like, it, like when Pamela was fighting, it allowed me to focus on her and now because of Kids Can, it's allowed us just to focus on her loss and not all the why and the what ifs. And, and uh, silly as it sounds, we are a very healthy family. Uh, and, and some of that has to do with faith, but a lot of that has to do with Kids Can. Oh, that's the one. Get under it. Get under it. Get under it. Oh. Gotcha. Chemo, therapy, and radiation um, saves lives. Kids can save my family. I'm Maria Boyer, and um, I was di diagnosed with stage one breast cancer uh, two years ago. I just felt like my world, you know, just came out from under me. Um, so when I hung up, both my children ran in because you know, they heard me crying. And my son, at the time he was six, first thing out of his mouth was, you know, Mom, are you going to die? And that was really hard. I mean, it's like you've just been told of this, and then, you know, what do you say to your children? But I was afraid if they would ask me something, I didn't know what to tell them. Um, whereas they would come to Kids Can, and then whatever topic it was for that month, they were educated on that. And so I was able to talk with them. You know, and everywhere I go, if I talk to someone who's, you know, you know, it's a cancer patient or going through something, I always, I mentioned Kids Can to them. I said, you know, I have people you can get in contact with. It is the best program. Me and my brother thought that we had caused her cancer because we were like not being behaving or something and it was all our fault. When my mom had cancer, I felt sad when she went through all the treatments and stuff. I felt depressed most of the time. When my mom had lost all her hair, I didn't want her to feel like she was only the girl in the family who didn't have any more hair left. So um, I, my mom let me shave my head, so I shaved it. I think it helped her also realize that, that she has kids that she needs to take care of for a long, long time. And she, she, she has to win this cancer. My name is Judy Allen Dodson, and I am a cancer survivor. When you're going through such a, a life-threatening illness as cancer, just to have people around, I mean, to be able to take the kids and have them for two hours and, and explain to them and be informative and, and have fun with them. And see, that was a big thing that, that the kids really enjoyed too, the fun. Because we're so stressed here and mommy's sick and daddy's trying to take care of mommy, you know, that we're so involved with this. They just wanted to have fun. They just wanted to be normal kids. You know, they just wanted to play and have craft time and eat pizza. And, and just to have kids can to do that, that's an enormous burden off of our shoulders. You know what's cool, Jacob? When you give your Nana your flower pot, and that means hope, you know, flowers mean hope. Those few hours 
the hours that kids can, you know, that was the real helpful part because I can ask some questions, you know, find out that the other spouses are going through the same thing, you know, they're pulling their hair out, you know, they're going crazy. And, you know, I can ask those questions. So that's why I was saying the kids can, the adult portion of it, it was really helpful. I mean, help with, with the kids, but it really helped me uh, to give me a, a better state of mind and understanding where we're going, you know, the road path through cancer and, you know, just how to support it. And they, they were just always there for me. This is the book of my mom and me and my whole family. This is me at Kids Can. Kids Can, the counselors make it fun while they're teaching them about cancer. If we did not have Kids Can, wow. I don't know where the kids would be right now. They would be probably traumatically scarred if they didn't have anybody to talk to and if they didn't have other kids that were in the same exact situation that they were in. There are a lot of nice people, little nice kids that um, his parent or grandparent had um, cancer and um, it was like all different ages so you can make friends with anybody. It's helped me because if I didn't have it, I, I would have probably still been scared and feeling the same way I did when she first told us. Jordan, Dylan, five more minutes before dinner. Okay, Mom. They had the counselors there to take them step by step and to be able to take our family from point A to point Z and bring us through this. I feel much better because I know she's not gonna die and she's, she's been through all the um, medications and the chemotherapy and the radiation and, um, and she's almost done with all of her um, exams to show, that, to show that the cancer is gone. So I know if she gets it again, she'll still be strong and survive. Like a sunny day.